Hey guys, welcome back to Play Candy. So today we are going to be doing some colouring in. So one of my Play Candy friends left me a comment on one of my videos and she asked me if I would draw Crybaby Dreamy the Unicorn. So that's what I'm doing today. So guys, if you want to do this, this is what I've done, is go to the IMC Toys website, imctoys.com and on there they've got various options you can click on printables and on there they have got a really nice selection of coloring pages for you to print off and they've even got the brand new dreamy unicorn and the bruni dragon on there for you to print off so if you feel like doing a sketch you can just copy the printable and that's what I'm doing today. It's not going to come out perfectly guys because my sketching is not brilliant but it's definitely something that if you keep on practicing you will become better at it. I wish I had some more time to practice my sketching but um, if you don't like drawing then you can just print off the printable sheet and color that in or use some tracing paper and trace your own crybaby and color it in but um, for today I've given this a little try to see how this turns out. So I really like the crybaby's eyes because they are so big but I think I've done these eyes a little bit high up. I think they should have been a little bit lower down on her face but she still looks pretty cute. I think it's come out okay. So I am just going to finish off her face by doing her lips and then these fantasy series crybabies have got some little stars on the side of their face so I'm going to draw those in next. And this is her multicolour hair. The hair has got different colour streaks through it, so that'll be fun to colour in. And there are her little stars. They will be coloured in pink. Bruni the dragon has got little stars as well, and I think those are purple. And we've just opened up a brand new limited edition Lena the Llama, and she has got little love hearts on her cheeks, so they are really cute. Okay, so I am now going to use one of my fine liner pens and I'm just going to try and go very smoothly over each of my pencil lines to make it nice clean lines and then after we've done this we'll let the ink dry completely and then we can erase all the little messy um, sketching pencil lines Okay guys, I'm going to start filling in her face and you'll just see the whole thing takes a bit more shape as we fill in all the details in the black pen. There we go, we are nearly done with her face. starting to take real shape now isn't it? I really like this little rainbow cloud she's got on her tummy. Okay guys now what I've done is I've already filled the rest of her body in the fine liner pen and now I've taken one of my bolder pens to fill in the thicker lines so the pupils and the eyelashes and then I've gone over the um, top border line of the eye and made that a bit thicker obviously the eyebrows if I'd have looked at the picture a little bit sooner I would have left those eyebrows because Dreamy has got little pink eyebrows but I already filled them all in black and now what I'm doing is I'm putting her little polka dots all over her baby grow because Dreamy has little silver dots all over her baby grow but I'm going to do them in black so that they show up a bit better. There we go and I've also filled the whole body and legs in as well. There we have it guys, she is ready. I'm now erasing all the pencil lines. I've left this for the ink to dry first, by the way. 
and now we're just giving it a good old tidy up. Okay, now that everything is erased, our picture is ready to colour in and I think she's looking pretty good. What do you guys think? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start shading her face. Now, I always find this a bit tricky. I don't want to use a felt tip pen because the light, the colour comes out too dark. So I'm going to use a pencil, but instead of colouring in, I'd like it to be a bit neater. So I'm using the shavings just to gently shade some colour in. And what I might do is darken this up at the end if I feel like it's not dark enough. And I'm also going to use the skin colour and do some shading on her little hands. There we go. Okay, I think this skin colour will need a bit of darkening up at the end, but we'll, we'll see how it looks once the pens have gone on. I'm going to start colouring in her unicorn horn and we're going to do this in gold. Now I'm using a gold gel pen. that really brightens her up already. Okay, and next up we're going to start with our felt tip pens. So these are some brush pens that I have and these make colouring in nice and easy because the colour goes on really well. So we've got a rainbow stripe in her hair, she's got the blue, pink and yellow strip going on and the final strip in yellow I'm going to do that little tuft also in yellow over there okay next up I've already started on her rainbow how cute that looks and now I'm going to fill in her little face stars I can already see how pale her face looks now that the felt tips have gone on so I'll definitely need to darken those up so we're going to fill in her ears and her little ribbon Finally, her little feet. All in pink. Okay, now back up to her face and we're going to give her pink lips. And then we need to go do her eyes. So Dreamy has got little blue eyes. I love the little reflection marks in the eyes, they really make them stand out really nicely. a bit more colour into those cheeks. I think that looks much better now. Let's write her name up the top, Dreamy. And there we have it guys, I think she is about done. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if you chose to do this, if you drew your own one or if you took one of these printables off the website and coloured that in. And let me know as well which one is your favourite to colour in. So there we have it guys, that's all i got time for. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw this, I'm sending you lots of love and I will see you all really soon. Lots of love guys, bye bye!